Hi guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. So in this video we're gonna do an unboxing because I ordered a hot air station and I try to keep in budget and to have also a good quality one. So without further ado, let's begin with this video. So here we go, this is the parcel which I received exactly today and uh, I'm so excited to see how looks this uh, hot hair station. So the parcel is quite big just uh, barely fit on my uh, table and uh, let's uh, give a quick cut over here that I can get uh, the things out from here so I like the way how they pack it because they use these hard corners like that they will not be the box destroyed so that's a plus on how the seller uh, packed uh, this uh, item to be sent from China to here. I can see there is hard corners over here. So let's get more cut because there is a lot to cut on this one. not that easy to open this one huh? because also the box is quite big and there is no space on my table okay so let me get this one off from here and I'm gonna carry on with the video once I have uh, everything uh, done and here we go, this is a ICS a hot, a hot air soldering station, reflow station, they've been how you like to call it. And it's packed nice with a lot of foam to keep the things inside safely. And uh, is the ICS R1 Pro. Looks like there is a sticker over here with the QR code. Looks like we have a few of the nozzles over here. I have some other nozzle. I hope that the size match. I'm gonna see how it will gonna work with. And we have the the stand that can be easy adjusted the angle on this one. I can see here you adjust the angle and you tighten it. And uh, here to change the nozzles, I believe, and here to pull out. You can see there you pull out the nozzle and you prepare here a new nozzle and you put it over there. Okay, let's get the handle over here. Looking nice. It was nice if it was some foam here around. My baby, I can uh, check uh, on AliExpress. Maybe there is some foam that you can uh, put inside and uh, have a soft uh, touch over here. The nozzle looks really cool inside and uh, let's get also the machine over here out so far looks really promising this uh, hot hair station i'm really impressed with the design and with the size of it definitely is not a, a bad one i believe it will gonna do a good job so let's uh, have a look more on this one and we're gonna also give a try okay so here we go it's coming with the uk uh, cable that is uh, great and this is the handle which i saw it before and this is the station itself it has also a support handle here that i can take it off if i want to use only this one i can definitely unscrew here this screw and uh, remove this one definitely if it's there holding no it's uh, underneath there there is two screws here so you can see there there is two screws there so i can undo those one and keep the station and uh, use only this handle so at the back come with the plug connector with the tin amps fuse and the front has a nice lcd display over here which has also a foil that i can peel it off yeah i can see the foil is there so the scratches i can see is on the protective foil and has a memory three channels and has settings this one increased the temperature and this one increased the airflow which is really cool and from here i think you turn it on and turn it off the machine and uh, definitely has a, a really flexible uh, tube over here from where to push the air out from uh, from the turbine because it's a 
based on a turbine on inside over there and uh, yeah let me install it on my uh, bench where it will gonna stay forever and uh, let's give some trial to see how uh, nice working so here we go my uh, station it will gonna sit on my desk over here where I have uh, the elevation because my table is here and I have few drawers over here where I put stuff and underneath I have also other things and uh, it will gonna be sitting over there forever it has a really cool nice design have a look over here let me zoom more in so also the display is really nice as you can see there from here we are increasing the temperature as you can see there increase the temperature and then from here we are increasing the the airflow sorry for shaky hands so you can see I can increase and decrease the airflow so for now if I go to press this one is 335 with 100% airflow here we have 425 degrees with 100% airflow and channel 3 it's already preset with 475 with the if my camera wants to focus good yeah now it's focused and here on channel 3 we have 470 with 100 airflow okay so Let's quick have a look on the listing from where I bought it and how much cost and how fast move over here and then we're gonna give a try. So here we go, this is the air station which I can find it over here. So it's ICS R1 Pro 1000 once temperature control hot air gun rework station. So because there is an UK taxes, you I paid £142.34 included the shipping but actually the item costing £101.79 uh, and you can choose choose uh, 110 volts if you are in US or 220 volts if you are in uh, Europe or UK and there is few picture about this one is giving you four nozzles the two squares and two round and uh, has a really nice uh, display I really like the display as well and uh, have a look here so that's why the the costing because you have 32 pounds on shipping on uh, the item so that's why it's costing 142 but actually the item is costing 101 pounds and uh, here I saw uh, there is no no reviews so I take the risk by myself and I got it here I can see there is another place where it's costing only 92 pounds but definitely the shipping is uh, no, it's the same price also in shipping. Ah, but if it, it's 92 pounds, the not pro version, the one that is not giving you the the stand that it's uh, staying on your table, so it's giving you only the stand that is uh, next to the attached to the hot air station, and the display is uh, also different. As you can see there, it shows the display different than the R1 Pro. So I got the Pro one, and it's the same price, 100 pounds over here as well. But let me check my uh, listing, the one that I bought it. Because if I bought it from this uh, seller and the item is here, this means it's a trusted seller. I don't know other ones how they are. So we're going to get in the package this uh, station with those four nozzles. Thanks that I have more nozzles and uh, they are matching. There is not too much to say in this description because there is this picture and write it on Chinese that uh, I can't understand. Uh, maybe it says the speed of the airflow. I don't know. I need to check the user manual. But by the way, you have 1000 watts temperature control and uh, the speed you can believe me it has really a lot of airflow uh, passing through the tube and uh, if you are interested please check the link on the description down below so here we go we are under the microscope and we're gonna try to remove uh, this uh, IC over here so I set up uh, with the channel 3 475 degrees and 100% uh, airflow so let's uh, try to remove this uh, IC over here You can see the IC is removed. Okay, let's wait the board to cool down and then we're gonna try to also resolder back. We're gonna put some uh, uh, flux and uh, we're gonna try to resolder back this IC. Okay, so let's put a little bit of flux over there. Ok, 
Okay, and let's try now to solder back. And I believe the ICE is uh, soldered back. You can see there, yeah, it's not moving anywhere and it's on place. And that is a bonus. Really happy with the, how this uh, hot air station working. I can do a big IC like this one. It's uh, really cool. Let's have a look uh, if I reduce to the other uh, channel. Let's see the 335 degrees, the channel one. And try to remove uh, a capacitor to see how easy it's removing a capacitor as well. So let's uh, look for a capacitor around here. So shall I say let's try to remove uh, this one over here. Yeah, we're gonna try to remove this one over here, this capacitor. Let's see how quick uh, it will gonna be removed that capacitor. So, 335 degrees with 100% airflow. And let's try to remove that capacitor. This board just I want to tell you that is quite really, really thick so it will gonna take a lot of uh, heat so i think the this uh, channel one is not doing too much well so let's increase so i set up to the channel two where we have 425 degrees with the uh, 100 percent airflow and let's try to disorder on this in channel two and i can see very easy to remove yeah, it's going to do a really good job for me, this uh, hot air station. If I'm going to do some repairs or if we're going to do some SMDs, reflowing some SMDs, definitely it will going to be handy. So let me try now to solder back and uh, see how it's doing. So I kept in the same uh, settings, so 425 degrees, 100% airflow. And let's try to resolder in place. Without to move around the other component over there. And here we go. Very quick it was soldered back. Uh, I really I really impressed. So yeah, it's a really cool uh, machine. So I have this set of 45 degrees uh, angle uh, nozzles and looks like they match perfectly the only thing that is not that uh, quick release and quick uh, hold in place just need to tie them with the uh, with the screw but uh, mostly of the time the now the 10 millimeter diameter it will gonna be used for most of the components only sometimes when you really have a tight uh, place where you don't want to heat up uh, any electrolytic capacitor you might swap for something thinner like that and it will gonna be more easy to work with this one on 45 degrees rather than uh, work with the one that is straight because uh, you know you, you don't have too much space uh, under the microscope but definitely with the 45 degrees as you can see here there is a lot of space working on the microscope and usually i'm uh, using uh, the left hand for uh, for the for the air gun and with the right one because it's more stable using the tweezers because uh, the left hand is a bit uh, more shaky than the right one so yeah i'm happy that also these nuts which i buy before matching this one that's i need to tighten the screw there and they're gonna stay permanently over there and i'm gonna see which size is working perfectly and i'm gonna leave it permanently the size that is working for me the best 
And let's wrap up this video over here. So my thoughts about this uh, soldering station, the air, uh, hot air uh, re reflowing station or hot air uh, soldering station, call it how you like. It's really okay for the money if it's a budget friendly and is doing a really cool uh, job. It has a really high speed and high uh, volume the air flow through the tube and uh, I'm definitely happy with it. And uh, yeah, check the link in the description down below if you want to purchase chase one it's a quick uh, delivery and also the price it's the other cheaper uh, hot stay hot hair station that i was checking also in amazon as uh, the cheapest price that i can see it in amazon is uh, 154 pounds and for this one i i bought it uh, with just 100 uh, around 100 pounds so it's a big uh, big saving on this uh, hot air station and it's really cool you have three channels where you can save your temperature in your airflow and uh, that's it you don't need all the time to increase or decrease the temperature or to increase or to decrease the the airflow you can set up in three buttons to, to three different uh, temperature and airflow speed and that's it you can do your job very easy and if you enjoyed this video guys please give me a like please subscribe activate the notification bell to be notified when I come with the new videos and until the next video guys have a good day and bye bye